So this is my second video, I'm just going to be explaining my RSA. Um, I'm kind of just in the initial stages, I've still got to um, nail down the question and the area that I'm going to be focusing on. So that's kind of what I've been, I've been writing some stuff. Um, you know, the areas in the brief that I could, you know, follow. There's the communications campaign that can change people's perceptions um, of public transport and the way they think about it, stuff like that. That's interesting, and um, that's something that I think is necessary. Um, a redesign of a platform, a lounge uh, area, that's interesting as well. And a design which rewards commuters, that's something that, you know, an incentive is important. Um, so I, I was actually thinking, you know, there's a lot of scope in each of those. They could be, you know, individually very good projects, but I think that, you know, um, tying them all together, you know, and doing them as a sort of collective, you know, it's finding some sort of middle ground between them. I mean, in the brief itself, so there's kind of, you know, they're, they're example ideas of where you could go. Um, I'm thinking I could modify them slightly, but also tie them all together to, uh, to create my own project. Um, I've not nailed down that question because it's quite complicated. I've got to try and um, word it so that I've got a, you know, a solid question to base my project off. That takes a little while. Um, but because obviously it's going to be, I'm primarily going to be doing a sort of redesign of a platform, which this is a vague idea of what I'm doing. Um, a redesign of a platform which uh, rewards commuters and encourages sort of people to use the public transport more, and also um, changes the sort of perception. So that's going to kind of tie into advertising, which is an area of kind of I'm interested in. It's more of the service side of things. Um, because I'm always, you know, aiming to make a final product, but um, that is an actual physical product rather than a service. So that's an area I want to kind of look into. And um, so what I've done uh, initially is I've drawn out some examples of what bus stops look like right now. There's multiple different types, and did some analysis of what they are like and the things that um, I think need to be approved and the things that are good, etc. And then that'll be kind of a nice jump-off point for me, I think. So I've done these these visuals. Um, let's have a look here. So that's kind of my first visual, and um, yeah, you'll probably recognise the sort of shape of that bus stop. I've done a lot of, um, it's actually an overlay, so you can see the sort of standard shape, and then I've done um, the sort of insights and stuff like that, things that I find interesting about that. Um, I'm going to present that in a better sort of way, I'll give you more detail about that. That's my second one there. That's, um, you know, another sort of bus stop that you see regularly. And once again, that's just an overlay. If you saw that um, image behind, I'll give you a better idea. That one there, and that's kind of the insights, uh, things that I've, you know, highlighted, such as you know, you know, um, if you're kind of you're at a bus stop, it's it's primarily the reason is kind of you're waiting for the bus, of course, but also to kind of protect the people from the rain and the wind, etc. And I mean, I think this design here, they got the sort of L shape here. Uh, on this side, of course, it acts as a windbreak from wind coming in that direction. But in this direction, um, it's kind of a wind catcher. So, I mean, it's just, I think these are little elements that make people kind of feel a bit kind of scared about going on their, their commute. Sorry, I got cut off there. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, back to what I was saying, I was, I was speaking about people being scared about their commute. I mean, scared isn't really the word I would use. Um, sort of a bit kind of nervous about their their commute. I mean, it's something that a lot of people do, and I mean, I don't really feel entirely comfortable on the bus. I mean, that's just the way I feel. Um, it's cramped. Um, words that I associate with are cramped and antisocial, etc. I just don't really enjoy the bus. I don't. That's my personal, you know, view on it. Getting into the mindset of a demographic is something that's important in this project, and I'm going to have to base my product, product, sorry, about around someone. Um, so. I saw a really interesting quote in um, the documentary Objectified, which is a great industrial design documentary, and uh, it basically said, design for the extremes, the middle will take care of itself. Now that's, in the, that's talking about demographics, that's talking about, in the terms of a demographic, an extreme is someone that's, you know, an elderly person or, um, you know, a handicapped person. It's not the general mass of the population. Um, and so what that basically means is design for those people and the sort of general population will be fine. They'll, they'll be able to easily cope with the, the product that you've designed. Um, something I'd like to look into, um, maybe. Uh, well, in third year, I did a lot of universal, well, I did a universal design 
um, as a universal sort of demographic. That was incredibly, it was a mistake. It was a mistake, really. Um, I didn't nail down a demographic, and the product had to have a demographic, really. Um, so you had an, an idea of who you're designing for. That's really important, something I've learned from third year. Anyway, I'm talking too much. <laughs> so that's my RSA. You've seen my honours pro project um, in the other video. And, you know, this is my workspace, essentially. So if you're on my blog and you've not followed my blog, please do that. Um, comment on anything you, you find interesting, because uh, I love people's feedback, essentially. And like um, anything that you see and um, you find interesting. Well, anyway, thanks very much. Um, and that's me.